What is up YouTube? This is uh, Asian with Cards, and I know this is a different angle, different video entirely. Um, I normally do deck profiles on my channel, um, but I decided to make like some you know, some discussion videos on my way home from work because I literally have like a 30 minute commute, give or take, uh, from work every day. So I was like, might as well uh, maybe make a YouTube video discussing some topics in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, and if it's not, you guys don't like this, then uh, worst case scenario, I'll just stop you know doing these kind of videos and just do deck profiles like I've been doing. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys about some stuff that's going on in Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Um, and uh, yeah, if I sound tired, it's because I'm coming from work. And if I'm rambling, it's because uh, this isn't scripted. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to talk about the North American World Championship Qualifiers. That's happening, uh, I believe, the weekend of July 7th. And uh, yeah, see, yawning. Um, but yeah, if you guys are going to that, uh, comment down below. Um, I'll be attending that with a bunch of my buddies. Uh, but yeah, I want to talk about that um, and like what decks are going to be played, what I'm probably going to play, and what you guys should expect to see. Um, so yeah, I think the first deck that's probably going to be played, which everyone should know by now, is Cash Tira. I think it's like super consistent. It does like the same thing every time. It plays cards like Shifter. Um, you can play cards against the Mirror Match, like the book, like Book of Moon, Book of Eclipse is really good in the Mirror Match. Uh, it's just a really good deck in general. Uh, like the monsters are like boss monsters. I heard someone say that, and I was like, that's true. Like Fenrir and Unicorn are just like they're like boss monsters, but like in archetype searchable boss monsters, which is crazy. Uh, they're just big beat sticks. Birth is insane. Uh, yeah, you guys know about Kashira. Um, and then the deck set for that, there's not really like an order, uh, but I think Brand is going to be really popular, even without the um, without expulsion. Uh, you can still like, gimmick puppet lock your opponent with the uh, the new dragon, the new fusion monster. Um, and resolving brand infusions like an FTK against uh, most decks. Uh, being able to play Abyss Shields is really good. The only issue I think with that deck is like it doesn't have a lot of room for non engine. Uh, sorry guys if it's like shaky. I'm just like it's on my dash cam. Uh, but yeah, like the deck has no room for engine, which can kind of kind of be kind of bad. Um, and if you lose to Ash and like the barrier cards like that, so I think I think once you get to like the later rounds, you probably won't have to worry about branded. But I believe in the early rounds, people are gonna be playing it. Or if you're going like side events, I feel like it's a really good side event deck. Because it doesn't have to be like super consistent. Like you just have to draw like pretty broken for four rounds and you just get there. Um oh, sorry. Super tired. Um I think Labyrinth is gonna be good too. It just won the German Nats. And whether you play the trap build or you play the uh, the build with the uh, furniture, I think both builds are insane. Both builds have like crazy amount of like advantages. Like the floodgate build has skill drain, goes and match, you can play punishment compulse uh the viruses same thing with the uh, furniture build but both builds are insane they have a really good cash tier matchup and like against branded they can set up a first turn d barrier which can just like shut down that deck it's a really good deck overall i think it's a oh sorry oh yeah it's a good deck a uh, good pick um and a, a lot of people i don't think are playing evenly in like duster and lightning storm in, the, in their side decks which i think the game one is like it should be free uh, against uh with when you're playing Labyrinth. Like game one, your opponent should like have nothing in their main deck for you. So that should be pretty much free. Um, next on the line, I have like Runic, Sprite, I guess like rank two, level two spam decks, like whether it's playing Runic, Fur Hire, uh, Evil Twin, Sprite, like any of those decks, I think those like build a board, like Sprite decks are gonna be pop pretty popular. Uh, just because they've been out for a while, people know how to play them. The Runic cards are very versatile. So I think that deck will be pretty popular. Uh, nothing really to say too much about that deck. Um, it does lose a shifter, like sort of, so that can be an issue with the deck. Uh, but I, I believe for the most part that deck's pretty good. Uh, number five, Vanquish Shoal. Um, I don't have, like, really... It's not number five. I did Branded. Yeah, number five. Vanquish Shoal. I'm, I'm not really too in tune with Vanquish Shoal. I've played it, like, a couple times. And it's been, like, okay. Like, I, I, I understand it does some... Sorry. <laughs> it does, like, cool stuff. So I'm not sure if that deck will be pretty playable. I mean, I think people will play it. But I'm not sure how how good it's going to be for the later rounds and i guess after that like i guess it will do like number six but um gold pride punk is going to be really good i just picked up that deck recently you guys should check out my profile but i think that deck's pretty good a lot of people still don't know what the gold pride cards do which like rollerball is insane like all those cards are insane so i believe that that deck will be pretty cool um going to the nationals uh, i'm not sure what else like roguish picks <laughs> Um, I don't know if people are going to be playing road decks at Nationals because, of course, it's like a big event and you want to just take, like, what what deck's good. Uh, Pearly definitely might sneak in. Um, I think it's still really good without the Delicious Memory, with Delicious Memory at 1 because you can still, like, Zeus Turbo the deck, which is pretty cool. I've seen some people playing, like, super heavy variants with Sword Soul with, like, Denlong, so I think you might see that deck. Uh, Eldritch, you know, hopefully, you know, might, might 
show some uh, support there because I know it's it topped 64 and 32 at the uh, Philly, so I think that that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, um, I think another thing is like I don't know what the side decks are gonna look like. I don't know if people are gonna have like a wide variety of side deck cards because you never like you you probably gonna face Castira. So you definitely want to have like Cash Tira hate in your side, but like aside from that, it's gonna be like, like what else are you gonna be can you be playing your side deck? So, um, but yeah, I don't know if anything else I want to talk about. Um, oh yeah, if you guys, I think the side events are gonna be really cool. Like they have the Edison side event, they have like giant card side events. So yeah, I think that the events can be crazy. Um, I didn't go to Nats last year because I just started a new job and they didn't let me leave. So this year I'm super pumped um, being able to go to Nats this year. I'm trying to think if I left out any cool decks that might be played um i don't know i think that's maybe some dinosaur variants might you might see but like i wouldn't prepare for dino dinosaurs uh, but yeah those decks that i mentioned before um it's probably good what you're going to be seeing uh so yeah guys and pretty much like if you guys um probably like i don't think anything's going to change from like now to nats so whatever you guys are playing whatever's in your side deck just you know feel comfortable with it um you guys should do fine so yeah hopefully you uh, see some of you guys there and uh, yeah, peace guys. Let me know if you guys like these kind of videos. I'm definitely down to do them every week because I just have, like I said, I have just free time um, while I'm driving home from work. I can just like ramble on and just talk about Yu-Gi-Oh. So if you guys like these kind of videos, uh, yeah, let me know. If it gets like maybe 50 to 100 views and I'll start uploading. Um, but yeah, I'll still do deck profiles like I've been doing. And let me know if you guys have any other questions or any other video ideas you want me to go over. So yeah, thanks guys for watching.